Hello everyone, I'm Tofu and welcome to a brand new island. I've just recently deleted my jungle themed island of Tanglewood and we're going to be pursuing an all sheep villager island. So I'm going to just speed through all the uh, character creation and all that jazz and head on to the map selection. So as far as maps are concerned, I'm not looking for a particular map in general. I just want something that's a bit different from what I've chosen previously because my two previous islands, certainly that I've recorded anyway, had a very similar map, so like I said, I'm looking for something a bit different. Uh, that being said, I think I'm probably going to go with this bottom left one, and uh, we'll see if we have to restart for one of those sheep starters. So I do plan to restart as many times as it takes in order to get one of the sheep starters available. I think it's one of three, Muffy, uh, Frita, or Dom, I believe, if memory serves. We've got Green Airport. Who do we have as our villagers? <laughs> Renee and Boone is that? Well, that's not a sheep, so I'm going to be restarting and uh, going through the process again. So, see you in a second. So this is the first restart of possibly many. Um, just to let you know, this island will coincide with my Crime Court Island, which is a very run-down urban setting. It's very much out of my comfort zone, so this is going to be very simple. It's going to be natural cottage core, which is definitely my safe space. As far as the villagers this time, we have Moose and Rio, I believe. That could be Phoebe. In fact, I think it is Phoebe. But not a sheep, so restart again. As the theme of this island is going to be natural cottage core, very much my safe space, I've decided to challenge myself in a different way and have no terraforming, as I've never done that before. Um, as far as these maps are concerned, I don't really like any of them, but I'll go with the bottom left again. As for why I'm going for an all sheep island, it's just that I really like all the sheep designs. I've only ever had two before, being Wendy and Stella, and I just wanted to experience more of them. They're all cute, and uh, I really like the designs, like I said. Third reset, we have Genji and Phoebe again. Genji is cool, but not a sheep, so uh, moving on. <laughs> that one's different, that'd be cool. I do plan to rotate through the sheep, so I would like to have every single sheep on this island at some point. Obviously, there's going to be a point where I have to have a non-sheep villager, because there is no lazy sheep, for example. But my rule is that... If we have a non-sheep villager, they have to be wearing the sheep costume to be on this island. And that's not sheep again, it's Coach and Tammy. Okay, for those who are keeping count at home, this is a fifth attempt. Are we going to get lucky this time? We are! We've got Shari and Dom! So it's our fifth attempt, and we have our jock sheep. We've also got Shari, she is returning to... My Island, she was the very first Uchi character I ever had on New Horizons, and I actually really like her because of that. Oh, I'm really happy. I was expecting that to be absolutely painful and uh, go into dozens, if not scores, of uh, restarts. So, hey Dom, my big beautiful sheep boy. And Shari, you beautiful thing you. And uh, I didn't even pay attention to where the map is, so I'm just going to follow the, uh, the Nooklings. And here we are, is our glorious leader. So of course we have the uh, mission of collecting our tent from one of these two cute boys. Uh, I'm going to go with the one with the flag, as I generally do. Just because he's got a flag, <laughs> there is no other reason. But I do like the fact that he walks around in the early game, obviously around the island, and then Timmy is the one on the uh, inside of the tent. It just feels like it's a lot more life when he's walking around. I feel like there should be more special characters doing that. Our map would be very helpful, thank you very much. Okay guys, so, as far as uh, where I should put my tent, I've not really thought about it, honestly, but I think I might just plonk it nearby the uh, the plaza, the resident services, to be honest, just here will do. I feel like everyone puts their uh, things on the beach. That is massive, actually, then I'm bigger than I remember. One over, will that do? Yeah. So yeah, everyone tends to uh, choose on the beach just because it's easier to then move everyone across or terraform later on but I felt something different was in order we're doing a new island after all so yeah that's my choice now I'm gonna have to go and find the lovely Shari and the wonderful Dom and uh, choose their spaces for them ah oh, here is Shari it's a shame there's people that don't really like Shari like I think she's nice I do think that the fact that she's got yellow hands or paws is a little bit kind of weird but it, it's fine she's a good girl she deserves a lot more love. As for where her tent's going to be, I'm going to place it right next to mine. 
That's not right next to mine. That's uh, a little bit off. That looks good. And you can probably guess why I'm going to stick Dom. He's also going to be right next to uh, mine and Shari's tent. So let's look for him. And here he is. Oh, look at him. I just want to hug all the sheep villagers. They look so fluffy and soft. Okay, let's see how I fail to put this in the right place the first time. There we go. <laughs> it's inevitable. And there we go. That's the spot. So we have our little tent neighbourhood gone up. And uh, let's go talk to Nook. I'm pretty sure it just kind of sucks you over to the plaza. Whee! It's been a good old while since I've done the uh, start of the game. But I remember you got to get... Well, as it says on the screen, 10 tree branches. And you've also got to get a little bit of fruit. I think it's 6 of whatever your fruit is. I was going to say I'm not even sure what fruit mine uh, mine is, but obviously, again on the screen, it's cherries. Makes it interesting. I don't think I've ever had cherries as a uh, start. I think it's generally been apples or oranges. So, I'm just going to gather the items now. They're falling down. I'm yelling timber. It's also the first time I've ever had the, uh, the sailor uniform or sailor shirt. I don't remember what the, uh, the shirt is actually called. Yeah, it's just nice to see everything's a bit different. And of course, we'll let the festivities begin. Uh, so now we come up to the naming of the island, and honestly, I have a few notes in my notepad as to what I wanted to call this, and I'm not really too keen on the name, so I might take a while just trying to figure out something, and uh, hopefully I like it. So Inspiration has just struck me, so we're ready to christen our new island of Utopia. Ah, oh, I love it. Fantastic. I am my own toughest critic, but frankly, that's the best name any island's ever had in this game. Full stop. <laughs> now everybody clap for Utopia! The place where all sheep are welcome and loved. And I'm saying a word or two. Huzzah! Our cherry smoothie sounds amazing right now, actually. I would really love that. A toast to Utopia and the happiness of its residents. Cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, look at this cute boy. I'm so happy to have got Dom. Very different from uh, anyone I've had before, as far as my starter jocks. And here is the lovely Shari, as previously mentioned. I have had her before, but it's always nice to see her again. Timmy loves the name. Just like all you should. If you love the name, hit like. Okay, so I've been given my camping cot, so I'm going to run off to my tent. We'll obviously have a nap, have our fever dream of KK Slider, and then move on to the next day. Now, I've always wanted to keep these boxes as they are because they're just such a good item, but I always end up messing up and, uh, yeah, hitting A accidentally and ruining that all. So I just thought I'd do it straight away. And we have a pink radio, a green lantern, and we have a blue camping cot. They're a pretty nice combination, but nothing too spectacular. Anyway, on to our fever dream. Must admit, I'm probably not going to show it because uh, it goes on a little bit and it's a little bit weird, honestly. I've just realised I don't actually know what time my uh, my switch is synced to, so uh, this will be fun. Oh good, we're actually in the day, because uh, last time I restarted an island, I did it at like four in the morning, <laughs> so it was dark and the villagers were already in asleep. And I also had to then skip forward like nine months and everyone was just like, where have you gone? <laughs> but I'm glad I've not done that this time round. See, so Nook's nice enough to give me the smartphone. Everybody's favourite Tanuki. Thank you very much, sir. God, it's so sad just seeing those like six apps on their own. Just so lonely. So here we are on Utopia proper. Obviously been given our Nook phone, we've got our 5,000 Nook mile bill that we have to obviously achieve before we can move into a new home, actual proper home. And yeah, all is good. So obviously we're going to be doing the uh, ever fun grind for the 5,000 Nook miles. And uh, yeah, we'll move on and then try and unlock Blavers and uh, all that good stuff. So you've got to get the uh, mail from Nintendo first of all. Mostly to stop the beeping. 
but it does have the uh, simple DIY workbench recipe. Obviously can't learn that straight away because you've got to have the workshop with uh, Nook first. But there is the simple DIY workbench, like I said, and this is the DLC, so it'll be the photo of the free the work at Happy Home Paradise. I'm not going to put that down right now, but let's go talk to Nook and get that workshop on the way. Just realised I don't have any sticks or materials on me. <laughs> That's very unorganised of me. So I'm going to head out, grab some sticks, grab a little bit of stone and whatever else is available, and then I'll come back and do the workshop. See you in a second. Oh, let's say hello to Dom just because he's here. Hello! No worries. indeed a -roo. What a catchphrase. And he's giving me a hat. An explorer's hat. Just like we had in Tanglewood. Well, let's bust out the hat, I suppose. Boom. I'm looking fabulous. And here's Shari. I believe she'll give you the leaf umbrella recipe. And thank you very much. I've already got the materials, Nook. Come on. Right, here we go. Fishing rod, let's go. So now we've done the workshop and Nook has obviously given our DIY app on the phone. We can learn these two recipes that we have in our inventory. Fantastic. I've just realised uh, I chose the eyes with the little eyelashes. Just makes me look pretty. And while I'm here, I'm going to learn a... Or not learn, I'm going to actually build a couple more bits and bobs. Mostly being the net. Just checking what Timmy has to sell, just out of curiosity. Ooh, a tissue box and an inflatable sofa. They're pretty useless. <laughs> I can't imagine buying them. Tissue box, maybe. But, yeah, let's uh, move on, gather some things to sell and... Uh, Catch these fish and bugs that Nook would be after. Ah, oh, the early game is just such a vibe, isn't it? It's just so chill, so peaceful. It's just fantastic. I love the atmosphere that you have when you first start a game. Kind of reminds me of when you first played it, when it was uh, released in 2020. Obviously, uh, the whole lockdown thing sucked, but this was cool, just to keep you going through it. I keep trying to use the, uh, the tool ring, and that's going to annoy me. But, first fish of the island, I saw it in the pond. What's it going to be? And we have a carp. I was going to say crucian carp, but then something in my mind told me that was wrong. Uh, there's a big butterfly, but it's not going to fly this way. It doesn't look like it, so that's a shame. Uh, all the butterflies are just teasing me now. This dragonfly, is it going to come close? No. Wow. <laughs> They're just trolling me at this point. <laughs> come on. So I'm back to talk to Nook, as I have, obviously, my bugs and fish. So that will unlock, eventually, getting the Blavers uh, tent plot. And I'll put that down, and uh, yeah, we'll get the various rewards for all these creatures. And after that painful ordeal of having to give everything one by one, Nook has finally given me the plot for the museum. Fantastic, so let's go find a spot. So guys, as you can see, this is where I've put the museum. After quite a bit of struggle trying to put it on the beach where I wanted it to, it eventually went down. And as you can probably tell, I've done a bit of grinding off of camera, so I've caught a load of fish, I've caught a load of bugs. And you'll notice that this part of the island that's accessible to me is completely weed free. I just felt like you guys don't want to see me pick up 400 weeds. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to skip forward to the next day as I'm pretty much done with today and we'll have Blavers tent up and available. Also, I'm unashamedly going to pass over a load of materials from Jail Town, such as wood, stone, iron, things like that. Because again, I feel like you guys don't want to see me grind for that stuff. You want to see me get on with it. So, jump to the next day. Wasn't it just fun when Tom Nook used to do the announcements? I know obviously it's raining, so it looks miserable in the uh, in-game, but yeah, it was just, just a nice little touch that he would do it, and then obviously Isabel starts doing it, and uh, it got really boring for a while. Yeah, the airport's open as well, so we can transfer all those uh, bits and bobs, like I said. I'm going to check my mail first, just because that's beeping at me, and that's kind of annoying. Oh yeah, it's the uh, things I bought. And we've also got a gift from Mum. So, let's see what that is. 
I bought Rocking KK and obviously the Hoi T as you can see. Let's see what the gift from Mum is. Oranges! Fabulous. Okay, well, I'm going to put things into my tent and then I'm going to run off to Blavers and we'll get to donating all the uh, all the little critters that we've got outside the museum and uh, yeah, let's grind through that shall we? Actually before I run off to Blavers there's something I completely forgot to do and I'm a fool. I actually did some grinding and I managed to get all the Nook miles that I needed to pay off for the uh, debt that Nook has and I could have moved into a house but I completely forgot and so we're going to do that now. So the next time we uh, we move forward, I'll be in a house. And for the time being, I am debt free. Oh, I can't believe that I uh, didn't pay off my debt. But oh well, these things happen. Especially early game, you get really, really bogged down with just so much things to do. Anyway, let's move on to these critters and uh, talk to Blavers. He'll talk our ear off and then, uh, yeah, we'll donate some. And here he is, the owl of the hour. Not gonna lie, I forgot he gave me the vaulting pole. Uh, there you go. It's been a while since I've done the uh, the early game. Oh, and the shovel as well. Fantastic. But yeah, if you could just kind of stop talking, Blavers, that would be fantastic. There we go. Fabulous. I'm now going to donate these one by one, as you have to, so jump cut to when I'm done with that. And that was the last one. It's always an ordeal when dealing with Blavers. He does kind of go on a bit. I suppose that's kind of the point with uh, Blavers. And doesn't Celeste say he Blavers on? That's... Anyway. So yeah, we've uh, we've sorted out what we needed to. And we will upgrade to the big museum once uh, we move to the next day. Now I'm just going to open the gate for a certain jail town resident to uh, pop by and drop some much needed supplies. So here we have the crime universe tofu. Scouting the goods, seeing if there's any criminals available on this uh, island that he could recruit. So, as you can see, here are the various supplies that I dropped off from Jailtown. By the way, I wanted to say a massive thank you to Rose Rocks 399 on YouTube. They were kind enough to basically say that they had a gift for me. So they came over onto Jailtown and they dropped off just a buttload of stuff. So, I've got all the golden tools on Jailtown. I've got more fences that I can shake a stick at. They gave me all the fruit, these pumpkins, and yeah, it's just really, really nice of them. So I wanted to say a massive thank you, and uh, yeah, much love, Rose. I know at some point they talk about the shop, but I don't really remember when that is. <laughs> I wanted that kind of possibly up and over, but there we go. So you may have noticed when I did the uh, supply drop, I gave myself a decent amount of money, just basically to cover the very most basic loans when I uh, move into my house. And so that I get a bit of storage, because trying to design islands with no storage is absolutely painful. I also gave myself 60 Nook Mile tickets, so for the next villager hunt that we do, looking for the lazy, the normal and the peppy characters, I'll have 60 tickets. So it uh, should be a decent hunt for that. And as you can see, I have a brand new shiny house with the pink roof, so it looks beautiful, just like me. And we also have our brand new fully built museum. Good times. Hey cutie, how you doing? Oh, that's great to see you. Oh, what a nice way to brighten my day. Ah, oh, you're a good boy. Oh, is this where they're talking about the uh, shop? Yes, fantastic. So this is where obviously the supplies will come in handy so I don't need to grind all that jazz out. Hello, I'm here to do your bidding. Fantastic, so I've got the plot for the shop. Hopefully we've got enough beach space near the museum to put it down, but we'll see. I'm sure I'll struggle at some point, so uh, yeah. yeah. It looks like there's plenty of room. Oh, and look, here's Gulliver. What a lazy bird. Oh, that's massive. I always forget how big a space these things take. Oh, bottle, yoink. Well, there's definitely enough room on this beach, so that's cool. Let's just double check what that um, recipe is in the bottle. From Coach, and it's a plain wooden shop sign. Well, any recipes will uh, will do me good at this early stage. 
the next okay. day. And obviously this is the phone call where various villagers are showing interest in moving onto the island. Which uh, means, yeah, next video we have will be the villager hunt. So guys, I'm going to end today's episode here as we have the fully built Nook's Cranny and the museum as well. Hopefully you'll join me for the next time where we'll have a full villager hunt for the free, the lazy, peppy and the normal villagers. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit like and consider subscribing if you haven't done already. Hopefully you're pretty excited for this all sheep island, this natural cottage core, no terraforming island. It's going to be fun. But I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching guys. We're amazing.